ask you a question. What's the worst thing about camping in the hot, humid summer? What would your answer be? Now, is it the swarms of people that you have to fight with to get a camping spot? Plausible. Or better yet, is it the hot, steamy porta potty that you have to camp next to? Or better yet, is it the hot, sticky tent? Or is it perhaps waiting in a long line at a grocery store or a gas station to get ice only for the person in front of you to buy the last bag? Now, unfortunately, I can't help you with the crowds of people, or better yet, the porta potty situation. And actually, speaking of which, if you watch enough of my videos, you know I have the worst luck with camping and then waking up finding myself next to a porta potty but you're going to discover in today's video there is something that can be done about the hot sticky tent and of course the lack of ice and this week's photography talk episode i can feel the excitement in the air just like when phil collins does that really badass drum solo you know which one i'm talking about <laughs> So why am I so excited? Well, that is easy. There's tons of new products, and innovative products rather, coming out that makes our lives much easier. For example, like cooling up our tents and cooling down our tasty beverages when we're overlanding or off-roading in beautiful places. Yeah, it's funny. It's uh, obviously I'm not uh, out any place. This is normally where I do filming, and it was lush yellow not too long ago now it's all brown and yucky over here but without further ado let's dive into this week's headline now you guys might recall i run the milestar patagonia mt2s not only on my gladiator but also on my turtleback expedition trailer and i've been really really impressed with these tires as they've really performed both fantastic on-road as well as off-road well milestar is in the news again because they just released a new tire for folks like you and i they're going to be really excited it's called the patagonia at pro and it's an aggressive all terrain that will help us get to where we need to be in very trains and pretty much any season. For example, these tires are rated for severe snow, which is handy for those of you that live in Lake Tahoe if next winter is going to be anything like the one that we just had. Now, these tires will increase the off-road grip by offering a widening, or actually it's widening the content patch that the tire has with the ground. They also feature big, beefy tread blocks to help with traction, which is, yeah, exactly what you want. Now, these Myerstar tires also have the Miletech Advanced Sidewall technology that gives them the improved strength and resistance from impacts. So, as you can see with my tires, the upper sidewall right here not here or here so much but right here is super aggressive and helps prevent punctures from sharp rocks while also enhancing the traction of the tire itself anyways this is just me telling you what you can expect from the patagonia at pros based upon what i have experienced from the patagonia tires that i've been using over the course of the last years so again They've done a good job here, and I think these new tires are going to be pretty exciting. Now, if you're interested in learning more about these tires or picking up a set for yourself, I will put a link in the description below. I published a video not too long ago reviewing the Morflate 10.6 air compressor, a portable air compressor rather. So if you watched that video, which you should have, you remember that the 10.6 was able to inflate my tires. Now these are 37 inch tires from nine PSI to 41 PSI in less than eight minutes. Needless to say, I was pretty darn impressed with the 10.6. Well, we're talking about more flight here. So obviously they're making their rounds because they came out with a brand new pro version of the 10.6. And it basically, it retains all the great specs and features of the previous model, but it is now adding PSI Pro technology pretty stinking cool. And what's noteworthy about this technology is that it automates the process of inflating, deflating, or equalizing the tires. Yeah, overlanding is just getting that much easier. Now the unit has plus and minus buttons that allows you to set the desired pressure that you want and then you simply hit the go button and the Tensic Pro is going to handle all the rest. Now, instead of obsessing over the tire pressure of each tire on your rig, you can basically kick back and uh, the Tensic Pro is going to do all the work for you again. Well, as we're talking, the continuity with all these items on today's news, it's making our lives easier. So when you use the 10.6 Pro with their four hose kit from Morflate, it will air up, they say, 35 inch tires from 10 PSI to 40 PSI in a matter of 6.5 minutes. 
Friends, that is not bad. Now these new updates are added to the same lightweight portable package of the original 10.6, so you get even more functionality without taking up any more space in your vehicle itself. Again, pretty awesome. Now, as I've said before, there are certain gear that you don't want to skimp on. A good air compressor is certainly one of those items in that group. And as always, what I'll do is I pull a link down below if you want to pre-order one of these. Uh, two weeks ago, I pre-ordered mine and I cannot wait to get this thing in. So obviously when I do, uh, I will be doing a subsequent video and sharing with you folks uh, what I think of the new unit as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, many of you know, I just got back from Overland West and one of the exhibitors out there was, of course, EcoFlow. And this company, obviously, they're well known for their portable uh, power stations, their solar power setups, and really some stinking smart devices. Now, I recently got my hands on two EcoFlow products that, well, I'm going to be talking with you about here today. We have the Wave 2 right behind me here, which is the portable air conditioner. And of course, we have the Glacier, which is their portable cooler. Now, the Wave 2, this is actually, it's a, I said it was an air conditioner, but actually in all reality, it's an air conditioner as well as a portable heater in one unit. Whoa. Now the unit is totally self-contained, so you can put it wherever you want and enjoy up to eight hours of cooling as well as heating. Now what's cool, and yeah, that pun was intended, about the Wave 2 is that it has a companion smartphone app that allows you to adjust everything on the fly, right from the convenience of your phone. Now additionally, the Wave 2 even offers the ultra quiet sleep mode that is going to allow you to have a comfortable temperature in your tent trailer RV without keeping you awake all night with a bunch of noise. Now, in addition to these features, the Wave 2 comes with a swappable battery. So this thing can either be charged in your car or at your home. Now, likewise, you can charge this up through solar uh, as well as one of EcoFlow's power stations. In other words, this thing is packed with a ton of features and functionality that make it a really smart investment for overlanding adventures. All right, shifting gears and not to forget the about the EcoFlow Glacier as well. Now, this is a portable refrigerator. It actually, you know what, let me take that back. It's a three-in-one unit. You have a refrigerator, you have a freezer, and of course, you have an ice maker right here. Now with 38 liters of space, you're gonna have plenty of room for your food and beverages for your overlanding trips. And with an extended runtime that this thing has right here of up to 40 hours, you can keep your food and drinks cool all weekend long. Now hands down, my favorite feature about this is the ice maker. It works like a charm. So you get 18 cubes in 12 minutes. So you can fire it up, get your evening drinks ready, and by the time you are done, friends, you're gonna have ice ready to go, which is pretty darn cool. You can do it. Now, of course, the fridge freezer aspect of this is equally as impressive. So you can control it with independent controls for each side. So now each side can either be a refrigerator or it can be a freezer with temperatures ranging from minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 50 degrees. Better yet, the glacier can cool down really fast as well. So when this thing is empty, it can cool down from 86 degrees down to 32 degrees in just 15 minutes. And since this is a standalone unit, you can enjoy all the amenities without having to plug it into anything as well, because there's a battery right on the back of this thing. Now, in fact, the integrated 100 watt USB-C port, you can charge your phone or laptop off of your fridge. I know that's really crazy when you think about that, but it can be done. Now add in remote control via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, integrated wheels, which I don't have them on here right now, and the ability to charge the unit with DC, AC, or even solar. And friends, now you have the recipe for a must-have item for your overlanding trips. Now I will have a more detailed review both on the Wave 2 and on the Glacier in the oncoming week, so definitely stay tuned for that. In the meantime, what I will do is I'll put links Links down below in the description if you want to learn more or get yourself one of these items. All right, friends, that is it for the news this week. If you feel I earned it, sure would appreciate you considering hitting the like button and the subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. That said, we'll see you next time. <laughs>